Hey John, this video is brought to us by headphones.com. Okay, see you later. What is the one audio product that you would recommend to one of your non-audio interested friends that you think would change their life? One product. For me, it would be Sony's WH series of Bluetooth noise cancelling headphones. These sound utterly fantastic. For the money, a few hundred bucks, I think they would transform any person's life if they're just using like Apple earbuds or just basic stuff. These are just wonderful. However, one of the reasons that Bluetooth headphones like this are not taken seriously by audio enthusiasts is that Bluetooth audio, no matter what you send into it, it compresses the signal using lossy compression techniques, which means data is thrown away in sending the audio stream from your phone to your headphones. So for example, if we're streaming something from Spotify to these headphones, the stream arrives from the cloud at the phone, the phone decodes it to WAV, mixes in any kind of system sounds that it needs to at that particular time, and then re-encodes it in this case using either Aptex or Aptex HD or Sony's LDAC before sending it across to these. Now I mentioned those two because Aptex HD does about 600 and something kilobits per second, which you know is roughly twice that of Spotify's maximum of 320. Sony's LDAC goes all the way up to 990. But what's interesting about LDAC is that if the connection between the phone and the headphones suddenly becomes weaker, so if we're in a really busy place with lots of Bluetooth connections going on, or just, I don't know, sometimes it's just random shit, isn't it? The LDAC codec will drop the transmission rate from 990 to 660, and then again to 330 if it needs to. But as I've been banging on about for the last year and a half on this channel, no current Bluetooth audio codec can do lossless. Go and look at Apple's website if you don't believe me. Go and look at the tons of news articles that popped up yesterday, including a news article on my own website, basically saying that until today, lossless audio transmission of CD quality streams, because remember, Spotify will be streaming CD quality soon, Apple already does it, so does Tidal, so does Kobos, so does Deezer. So if you're using any of those services or if you use CD quality streams, one of the things that you might possibly want is CD quality connection between this and this. And until yesterday, that was basically a pipe dream. But what happened yesterday? Well, Qualcomm, who make a lot of the chips that go into modern smartphones, announced that they have adapted their Aptex adaptive codec for use on their, I think it's called Snapdragon Sound platform. That's, I think that's a hardware platform. Anyway, they've adapted adaptive they have adapted their adaptive codec which means it also changes its bitrate according to connection quality they've adapted that so that it can do cd quality losslessly so when i read this news i was like oh my god this is i think this is huge now the way it works is that using this new aptex lossless codec if we have a cd quality file on our phone, whether it comes from Spotify, Apple Music, or if it's on a micro SD card, or if it comes from Plexamp, I use Plexamp a lot. It will use lossless compression techniques, which Qualcomm assert are bit perfect, no information is thrown away, to send the data stream to our headphones. So we lose nothing from a CD quality stream. Now for me, this is kind of like the holy grail of Bluetooth. Because even though LDAC sounds amazing, as does Aptex HD actually, but I think LDAC slightly shades it. 
It isn't that far away audibly from CD quality, but many people bulk up Bluetooth connections because of the academic issue that CD quality is compressed as it makes the journey from here to here. But Qualcomm are about to change that. Now Qualcomm's new lossless codec will be adaptive. So what that means is, is that in perfect conditions, when there's a great connection, a strong Bluetooth connection between your phone and your headphones, it will use one megabits per second to losslessly compress and then send the audio stream, the music from phone to smartphone. But a bit like LDAC, if the conditions are not optimal, if you're in a busy RF, noisy area, so like if you're at a train station or somewhere like that, sometimes my Bluetooth craps out with my elevator. I don't know why, the elevator arrives and there's like a clunk inside my headphones. Anyway, so that just shows that RF can interfere with the connection. But what Qualcomm's Aptex losses will do in the case of noisy RF environments, it will reduce the bit rate of the stream down to, I think, I actually, I think it will go all the way down to 100 and something, depending upon, you know, how good the connection, the Bluetooth connection is. But in ideal conditions, it will be able to do CD quality. Here's the catch. Well, for some people anyway. Firstly, Apple do not get along with Qualcomm at the moment. Apple do not do Aptex Bluetooth codecs inside their iPhones and iPads. So if you're using an Apple device, this news is pretty much irrelevant to you because unless Apple produces its own lossless Bluetooth codec, people are gonna be stuck with AAC, which is lossy, where information is thrown away. Secondly, phones like this, this is the LG V40, so it's a couple of years old now. This does do Aptex HD. We don't know yet if there will be an update, well it won't be from an LG phone because no more updates coming, but generally to existing phones, we don't know yet if Aptex lossless support will come as part of an over the air update via Android. So we don't yet know if we have to buy a new Android phone to make Aptex lossless our reality. Because remember, we need Aptex lossless in the phone, but also in the headphones. And there are no headphones yet that do Aptex lossless, none. Qualcomm will start selling this technology to manufacturers pretty much from now, if they haven't already. And they said they'll expect to see the first Bluetooth headphones arriving with Aptex lossless on board next year, some point in 2022. So this is coming, it's not here yet, but it's arriving. And I think this has the ability to transform the Bluetooth headphone market because it removes that final barrier between Bluetooth headphones or Bluetooth connections and hi-fi enthusiast acceptance because hi-fi enthusiasts and audiophiles, they can be a little bit grumpy at times. I don't know whether you've ever noticed this, especially some of the older ones are like, Bleh, bloody Spotify rubbish or Bleh, bloody Bluetooth rubbish. Well, now Spotify is just about to go lossless so they can shut up about that. And now the Bluetooth is apparently soon going lossless as well. They can shut up about that, which is great because all the grumpy old men can now go away and stop complaining about Bluetooth headphones because they are fantastic. I think products like this, truly incredible. The engineering in here is amazing. Now where I think this will really advance the Bluetooth headphone conversation is that the amplifier in a Bluetooth headphone system is in the headphones, not in the phone as it is in a wired headphone situation. For example, with this Sony headphone, Sony will have used DSP, digital signal processing, to tune the amplifier's output to optimize the driver's output. But it also uses DSP for noise cancellation and for some kind of ear customization and also all of those you know, variable noise cancelling settings. So with the signal arriving digitally, you can do a lot with a headphone sound. And I think Bluetooth headphones might be seen in the future a bit like digitally active streaming loudspeakers are now. Because this is a bit like an active speaker situation, isn't it? The signal arrives digitally, so effectively the driver optimization can be done in DSP. And we get all the sort of corrective abilities that DSP gives us that are very, very hard to do inside the phone because the phone, 
with its headphone socket, this does have one, the phone doesn't know what wired headphone it's connected to. If I was a, a wired headphone manufacturer selling products that sell in the same price range as these, I'd be a little bit worried right now because I think next year Aptex Lossless, if it arrives in here, because remember we need it in our headphones and in our phone, sorry iPhone users, but it's only Android. Once we have these two things running Aptex Lossless, we have CD quality streaming done supposedly bit perfectly without loss as we do with our wired headphones right now. And I think that is mega, mega, mega news. Anyway, if you like this video, please hit the like button down below. If you like my attitude towards high-end audio, then it definitely encompasses Bluetooth. It really does. And if you like the fact that I can make a video that's just, I guess, more spontaneous like this, didn't script this one at all. There's no script on my computer here. I never read them. I never use an auto cue. No, never. But I do have rough ideas on my computer, usually out of shot. But for this one, as you can probably tell, I didn't. So anyway, if you dig all of that, please subscribe to this channel. And thank you ever so much for watching.